Hello and welcome to the driver's hub. Now you must be wondering what this Bolero doing here or I am in the slush and there is no roads basically. So we are here because of an Italian brand called Motomorini. Now when we think about Italian motorcycles, we think of Benelli, Ducati, MV Augusta or something as such. But Motomorini is a brand new company in India at least and today we are here to look at these two new motorcycles. They are 650cc, parallel twin, roughly around 60 horsepower and really handle well off-road. So let's dive in and see what's what. So first off we have the Sei Emezo that's basically six and a half in Italian. So six and a half, six fifty, you get the point. So well parallel twin liquid cooled six speed gearbox. Roughly makes around 55 horsepower. Uh, it has tubeless poked alloy wheels. So that is nice. So you have tubeless tires in front, that is Pirelli's. And uh, you have fully adjustable KYB suspension at the front and a fully adjustable monoshock at the rear. So overall, well, I really dig the look of the scrambler. And then I really dig this setup with a pair of radial tires, some nice sticky rubbers. Will probably be very nice handling uh, machine especially in the canyons now next off over here is the Moto Morini Xcape 650 so now this one is the adventure bike from Moto Morini same engine setup uh, liquid cooled parallel twin six speed gearbox but this one makes 61 horsepower it's tuned differently it makes more power and again it has a different suspension setup at front but it's fully adjustable Yay! So it has a fully adjustable Maserucci suspension up front, uh, compression rebound, you can adjust both of them. You have the fully adjustable monoshock at the rear, again dual uh, disc setup at front with uh, from by, uh, Brembo, not by brake. So we have Brembo uh, brakes up front at the rear, there is ABS that you can switch off on this. You cannot switch off the ABS on that, well yeah when you go have fun off-road, it's a turn off kind of when you go off-road, hard off-roading on the scrambler. But Indian roads and everything the suspension set up right right now it's on the stock setting we haven't played up with anything as such till now uh, very well but this thing can take a beating oh here the instructor he was taking jumps like it's no one's business and I for one thought like he's gonna break something but surprisingly nothing broke here and well again Italians they really love the designs now you can see thoda about you have the hints of maybe let's say Africa twin side say thoda multi strata types looks dikna but the exhaust I dig that and we'll make you hear the exhaust note again next soon that also it has a nice raspy tone to it and again there's some nice so yeah really good Once you swing your leg over the saddle on the X-Cape, well, it's quite comfortable and for someone as short as me, well, both the legs touch down aram se, abhi thoda off-road, off-road hona to tip to hona, but good enough, no scenes. And well, the ergonomics are quite sorted actually. You want to go off-road, it's quite, the tank is narrow, the seat is narrow, there's padding up till here so you don't crush your balls anywhere if you go hard in the braking. And when you stand up, well I can't stand, main stand nahi hai, but I say you can grip the tank properly. So that is very important to help maneuver the bike, especially when you're off-road and you want to let the rear slide out. Now, because you can switch off the ABS in the off-road mode, this works really well. Now, the bike is quite heavy actually, like, you know, 220 kgs, 215 kgs and you feel the weight when you're stopped but once you're on it, it's quite well balanced actually and well, it's really easy to just, you know, shift the weight and have the rear slide out, control the throttle the throttle response is also quite good so overall, the seats are quite comfy the ergonomics is quite sorted, especially for a short guy like me but if you, let's say, if you are above 5'8", 5'9", 
you'll realize it's a little bit cramped the handle is kind of low and then such people would rather opt for handlebar risers which i'm damn sure will be available in the market quite soon so once you get that done then for taller riders it's well quite sorted and again you have a adjustable windshield up here so again if you're taller you can adjust it up go on long high speed runs on the highway should do the job quite well so overall a well sorted bike everything's accessible reachable and the exhaust man looks too good yaar so on the scrambler though you feel the ergonomics are really quite different the, there is a rear set foot peg over here you see the rider strangle is quite different than compared to the escape and the handlebar is also a bit tall and towards you so whenever you want to with thoda hard hard you can do that but then again it's a scrambler for there's another variant of this which has road se uh, road setup has road radial tires and etc damn sure that will be very much more fun in the corners but over here for the scrambler you have again pirelli tires up front you have fully adjustable suspension over here the, the rider triangle is quite sorted soft roading quite possible you might even have fun sliding off but then again there's one big gripe i have on this you cannot switch off the abs in the back so for some serious pro people i say i am to learning but i say for serious serious pro pro people that might be a little bit of a downer for them but otherwise you can really handle it very well the balance of the chassis is quite well and because you are also having a little bit of an aggressive setup having the bike slide off even while you're seated on it and controlling it is quite easier and it's actually quite fun to ride now same with that at standstill you feel the weight but again the moment it's on the go the weight just vanishes it's quite well balanced so i think the kawasaki 650s should start watching their back because this thing might actually take the market in storm so same as a 650 the road variant though so now you see rear sets are almost similar but the handle is lower it's a road bike you won't be saddling on this that's exactly why i said the scrambler setup because it has a little bit of higher handlebar and the road tires too good but again when you want to go aggressive this is more comfortable this is more possible and the tank also feels nice again a few differences between this and the scrambler one the color schemes two the forks are not golden three the rims these are the major ones so that one gets a tubeless uh, alloy spoke this one gets a proper alloy so and the radial tires that's four so other than that almost everything else is the same the power figures are also same the only difference are all of these i wish there was golden forks on this would have looked mad so away i forgot not four things five six there is no uh, front uh, wind deflector over here a small one that you get on the scrambler and second thing you don't even get the beak you get a nice road based uh, mud guard up front over here well makes sense because if you go off road you'll have the muck all getting stuck over there then ideally by well, what stupid people do they either break it agar majboori hue to if they have a tool kit they remove it and keep it so wo naubat nahi aana agar scrambler lena now to the displays on the escape and the same amazo 650 Both of them get the TFT display. The Escape getting the larger one of the two. Both the bikes have their display controls on the right-hand side of the handlebar with four buttons to scroll through the menus and select the options on the screen. The Seiyamezo gets a smaller screen with the theme being dark, makes it difficult to read during the day, but it has a couple of different styles for the tachometer which is a good touch. The Escape on the other hand gets multiple riding modes and just like the Scrambler gets different styles of for the tack My favorite one has to be the off-road mode where the tachometer looks like it was inspired by the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Overall both screens are good, the functionality is definitely there and more importantly they are not laggy and are smooth to use. Now just like the Seiyamezo got two variants, so does the Escape. It gets a 650 standard and a 650X variant. The X variant being more off-road focused. So folks, that's what is uh, presented to us by Moto Morini. The Escape comes loaded with a lot of features which is actually well quite competitive when you come for a 650cc segment, you know. You have adjustable suspension, tire pressure monitors, switchable ABS on the Escape. Well, this misses out. But then all of the features are available throughout the range. Now you see there is a tourer version, there is an off-road version with spoke rims. Same for the Sei Amazo. You have a scrambler with spoke rims. Then you have a road-going bike which is slightly more aggressive, and I really fancy this. So itching to get my hands on this vehicle, and I want to really know how it fares on the road because how this handles off-road, I have very high expectations from this as to how it handles on-road. And then with adjustable suspension. well 
this is a different level so 650 cc not many competitors like there are many competitors but they aren't offering what these bikes are offering so we are waiting on the price stay tuned to our channel and let us know in the comments down below which bike would you pick and what do you think they'll be priced at and do you think they'll last or not in india until then i'll see you in the next one ciao